six, a helping hand with your land. Hey guys, Neil from Messix here. Today's Three Minute Thursday, we're gonna show you some video that we were able to shoot in the New Holland factory in New Holland, Pennsylvania. They took us into a specific training area that they have where guys are using some really advanced training technologies to learn how to operate a forklift, operate a paint gun, and to weld. Um, really cool training stuff using virtual reality technologies to helping those guys get a really high level of skill before they actually touch a piece of equipment that may be going to a customer. So join us here today, we'll show you how some of that training technology looks. Neil from Messick's here with Tim Smith, the plant manager of the New Holland factory here in New Holland, Pennsylvania. Tim, what are you going to show us here today? Yeah, we're going to take you out. We'll show you our Hay Tools, Hay Tools uh, plant here in New Holland, Pennsylvania. We're going to show you round bales being made. We'll show you this line. We'll show you uh, some square bales being made and then some other minor Hay Tools also all made in the same factory. So it's a privilege to show you, you know, from parts making right through to the finished product. So come with us here today and we'll give you a quick tour. We're in our training room and a couple of things I want to show you is how we're using uh, technology or virtual technology to train you know, three disciplines. This is uh, first of all fork truck driving, we're going to show paint simulation, we're going to show welding. Uh, Josh Perlman one of our logistics engineers, he's going to take you through kind of what this simulator does to you know, onboard uh, a new forklift driver. We have a lot of moving parts in our, in our plant and safety is critical and fork truck driving um, logistics is one of the high risk areas of the plant, so we've invested in this uh, technology to try and improve our safety um, in the warehouse. Josh? So yes, yeah, a virtual simulator basically creates a uh, 3D virtual reality warehouse environment. Uh, thank you. And uh, Christian is uh, one of our team leads, so Christian, if you want to go through the quick start there and open up the exercise. Uh, basically, this system creates exercises uh, that take you from the basics, the initial control phase of how you handle it, all the way up through advanced exercises, like what happens if you have pedestrian traffic, uh, slippery conditions due to something being spilled. Um, essentially, it takes them through every single module an operator would need to become proficient and safe with a reach truck. So what we found in the past was we had a lot of employees in, we onboard them and they don't have the experience they claim they have or they're not familiar with how to use our equipment. So this is very similar to our equipment, the simulator. Uh, Christian is gonna kind of just show you what a little bit of the exercise looks like. So everything you see on this screen here is what he is seeing through his goggles uh, at the same time. Am I good to go? You're good to go. All So right now what he's seeing is what you're seeing and he's actually hearing audible uh, feedback in his headphones as well. So he's hearing the lifting of the forks, he's hearing the driving actions, he's hearing if the pallet would shift, he's hearing all that right now. We can't hear that unfortunately, but, and uh, it's a fully immersive 3D environment. Christian, if you don't mind, could you look up at the ceiling, look around you? So you see it's basically a full 360 degree array. Uh, you can see your hands, and basically as you go through the exercise, the arrows will inform him what the next step will be. So now he's picked up the pallet and lowers it to the safe driving height. Uh, you can actually, when he looks behind him, he'll see the arrows on the floor telling him where to go next. So he'll follow those arrows, and it'll walk him through the entire exercise. At the end of the exercise, depending on how he performed, it'll grade him a score of either bronze, silver, or gold. Um, or it will tell him that he failed the exercise because he made too many mistakes. If you make any critical mistakes, you hit a pedestrian, um, you create more than $4,000 of damage, it'll automatically <laughs> fail you from that exercise. So we re we're going to require our operators to basically get silver in every single module um, before they're able to set foot on the reach truck on the floor. Um, the other benefit of this is retraining after a safety incident. So if somebody would get into a safety incident, we would take them in here, retrain them before we release them back into service again. So can you like knock down pallet racking and stuff in there? We've or? never actually been able to knock down pallet racking. The system will fault you out as soon as you smash <laughs> into it really hard. But um, I mean, you they can create uh, fall and spill type of activities if we wanted them to, but yeah. not with the base system now. Christian's yeah. too good to knock down pallet <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the whole thing's very immersive. I mean, when you're in there for any length of time and you come out from underneath the goggles and you look around, it's kind yeah. of a disorienting situation, right? You don't know where you are. But um, it's a great training tool uh, for operators. 
Do you have any questions? So, I mean, you've used this before. So, this using this compared to using a regular forklift feels darn close? Yeah, so I mean, basically when we got the pilot unit in, um, our steering is reversed from 90% of the US, okay. right? So we actually steer, if you steer this way, our trucks turn this way. So I think, Christian, when you tried it out, we brought the pilot model in here, which was the steering the opposite of ours, and I think Christian's feedback was that the only thing that was not realistic was number one, the motion, right? Yeah. You don't get that inertia. And number two was the fact that the steering was reversed. <laughs> but other than that, I think, Christian, you said it's a fairly accurate representation, right, of how you forklifts operate, reach oh, yeah. operate? Yeah, like the, the sensitivity, Everything in the controls is just fine. So that's cool. Pretty yep. accurate. We're one of the few plants that does that steers the opposite direction. Right? That's correct. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, so we have, we actually had them put in an option. So if I wanted to send this to one of our other NAFTA plants for them to pilot, there's actually an option in the menu. You can select reverse steering, which is what we do, or standard steering, which is what they do. So this is actually has ap applicability across all of our plants. So is there a funny story behind reverse steering? To be honest with you, I don't that? know. It's just kind of one of those legacy things. Like when I came here, it's just how it's, it is. Yeah. I think it's because the plant manager is English, so we just. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. All right. Is there anything else you guys want to see with this, or? No, cool. All right. Yeah, keep Thank you, Christian. On. Thanks. Okay, the next one we're going to see is paint. So paint, obviously, uh, very customer-driven, uh, cross-customer-driven. Uh, uh, criteria so what we'll do is we'll bring them in here and we'll train uh, offline so we're not training on a product um, and I'll have Heather our paint engineer and um, take us through take us through how we do that and we've got JR one of our best painters so he should score over 95 on this simulator so we'll have him take you through it go ahead Heather thank you so what the paint simulator does is simulate but it simulates a textbook environment we're painting on a flat surface and we're getting our muscles used to the muscle memory what it feels like to hold a paint gun all day what your wrist should be doing what your arms should be doing um, we have different options available in our paint booth so it doesn't exactly mimic the floor certainly not as well as the forklift simulator but it does two things it does help me evaluate if we get in a person for agency um, that truly they are a painter and I can tell within five minutes and it helps even out your stroke uh, application techniques all of that stuff can be reinforced in here and then taken to the floor and you just have to slightly alter so it, it's the difference of learning something from scratch versus learning something and just having to alter it a little bit to a different environment all right, our last simulator we're going to show you here is a weld simulator. So uh, Alec, uh, one of our weld engineers, is just going to demonstrate this. But we um, use this to certify our welders initially to decide, uh, number one, if they want a career in welding, and number two, if we want them to have a career in welding. So we have them uh, do this virtually. Over here, you've got some coupon examples, if I could just show you this. So after they've spent about 80 hours on the simulator, we'll they'll teach them muscle memory and some basic principles of welding. Then we'll have them weld a coupon, which you can see this coupon then is standing vertically, and they do this actual weld. They do a you know, horizontal weld, a vertical, and under roof. And this is, you can see, this is an employee 1R27 before he started his training. And then at the end of his training, there's an example of his quality. So we'll have uh, Alex show you kind of how the simulator works. Explaining a couple things quick, uh, you'll tell uh, a difference between the noise being close to too far away. That way, you kind of understand where uh, I guess you're going to get any defects and stuff like that. So, I'm not too familiar with this, but I'll try my best to keep my hand as steady as possible for you guys. <laughs> so, there's a, a feel to this, though, too. That so you, you weld mostly from sound, then not from touch, I guess. Yeah, so there's, a, yep, there's a lot of things you can do, so you can tell. I'm getting too far away from the joint, too close, it starts to crackle. Just right, sounds like bees. So what you see on the screen is what Alex sees, yeah. right? And that's very, uh, you know, the way it goes dark and things like that is close to reality. 
Um, we've got the gun weighted to match the wire that we run, and we've also set all the parameters to match the wire that we run. The audio is to help train. So the audio is a visual indicator to help train, right? As close as you got. And then uh, you get a score at the end of your weld, and it gives you uh, some feedback in terms of... Uh, yeah, so uh, you can see all how unsteady my hand was and back and forth for uh, the beginning, trying to show the demonstration yeah. of uh, the effects and then how nice and steady it was towards the end. And then the graph, it can go through and show you like your undercut, porosity, multiple things like that, and then it can score you. So this one was a 50 because I purposely was all around being unsteady and then try to straighten up and look a lot nicer at the end. Yeah. That's, it's you know, that's cool. I mean, you can definitely see the... Yeah, it's, it's doing everything, your travel angle, your distance, all the key, key things that you want to control when you're actually welding. Awesome. So for our employees, we would look for them before they leave the simulator to get up over 80, yeah. and then we have them go m then learn on actual welding. Thank you, for Tim, for walking us around sure. today. That was absolutely fascinating. Great. Really appreciate the, the quality and the care that you guys put into this stuff. It yeah. is absolutely remarkable. So I appreciate you showing that to us. Thanks today. very much. And we're very proud of our safety record, too. We're glad you made it through the tour and there was no accidents. <laughs> thanks very <laughs> Thank much. Thank you.